everyone, it's Proceedact at Games.com here, and today I'm going to be talking about Izeet Sons again. If you guys don't already know who Izeet Sons are, because I've talked about them twice, they are an incredible band that I actually ended up discovering through an audition. They had an audition for their music video for the song Ivy 2.0, which is a great song, and so I really love to prepare for auditions and do a lot of research on the part and the people that are making it, and so we decided to look up the band, and I found them, and they just sounded so good, and I quickly became obsessed. They were on all my music playlists. I just loved them so much, and their music really did resonate with me because a lot of it is about mental health, and that's what I was going through and what I still am going through, and so listening to that was just a really good experience for me. When I discovered them, I thought their name was super duper cool because it's Eyes Eat Suns, and like I wasn't entirely sure what that meant. Like, if your eyes are seeing something, then are they like consuming it and eating it? And then there was the sun's part, which is confusing because you're not supposed to look at the sun. Don't look at the sun, it will hurt your eyes. Uh, and so, but it was also suns plural, and so that could mean multiple suns. And so I, en I ended up getting this image in my head of like kind of laying in the desert and looking up and seeing the stars above you because it's like super clear and you can see everything and your eyes are eating these suns and it was like the super deep meaning and I was like whoa that's so cool but as with most band names that isn't actually the meaning um which is totally fine because you can take your own meeting meanings from songs and band names and stuff like that which I find really incredible and their name is really good for that uh, but Eyes Eat Sons is actually, fun fact, it's a mnemonic to remember the lead singer Aisa's name and how to pronounce it because people have troubles pronouncing it apparently. I actually got the opportunity to see them live, which was an incredible experience. They're one of those very rare bands that sounds very, very good recorded as well as live. And so that was a magical experience. It's in a little coffee house. They gave me, I don't know if I have any video of it, but like the biggest coffee cup imaginable. It was like this big. And so that was an incredible experience to see them live and actually get to talk to them IRL. It was such a good time. When I saw them live, I got to hear their new song, Up in Flames, before it was released, and I just absolutely fell in love with it. It was incredible, it resonated with me a lot, and it was beautiful acoustic, and so hearing that really filled me with like hope to hear the full song, and the full song released, and it's so good, you guys! It's so good! It's going up in flames It's going up in flames I feel it coming and I just need some love I highly recommend hopping on whatever streaming service you use and streaming their music and listening to it because it's absolutely fantastic and I love it so so much. Their music is just incredible because it's really interesting because it has such a powerful feel-good vibe to it, but then you can also listen to it when you're feeling down and it really resonates with you. It just has such good qualities. It's quality content, you guys. It's a banger. It's a bop. Listen to it. I was also, fun fact, reading uh, an interview with Aisa, uh, and she says banger. So obviously that means you should stand forever because you can trust someone who says banger. Um, um, so, yeah, go listen to their new song, as well as we have been talking to them, and I actually get to interview them soon, which I'm so excited about, uh, you don't even know. It's gonna be so incredible, and so if you guys like their music, make sure to leave a comment down below with some questions that you want me to ask. Uh, I'm definitely still workshopping them, and there's room for more questions. So you can leave those in the comments down below if you guys want to ask them a question about their music or about them. And yeah, it's just, it's an awesome band and I love sharing new stuff about them with you. They even gave me a t-shirt when I saw them live, uh, which is gigantic on me, but I love it dearly anyways and it's super comfortable. So if you ever see them live and they have a t-shirt, you should buy one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to press the subscribe button down below to see more videos like this. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. I'm gonna burn my notes. I'm gonna put this on camera so you can see it. Even where my notes are on paper because I felt like it. Oops. No. No. Okay, well the flame went out, so I guess it was preventing me from doing my very bad idea.